Hello, everybody. This is Bernie Strom, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, we have a special broadcast. I woke up this morning and said, you know, this is the beginning of the stretch run in Field of Dreams baseball, and I wanted to be the guy who kicked it off with a special broadcast here on Friday afternoon, uh, April 12th. And today, we're going to have a pennant race. Lee, Chico's going to be at Lehigh. Lehigh currently ahead in the win division by two and a half games over Chico's. One of the two races remaining in the four divisions. Let me just review those four divisions here before we get started. And then we'll be off to the game. And it's September. Big Clue reminds us. I know it's September in our game, but it is April 12th in my studio here. Earth Division, Liverpool, Big Clues team, leads Berlin by 10 games. That's a foregone conclusion unless Liverpool goes on a gigantic losing streak. Lehigh, two and a half ahead of Chico's. That's the game we're going to watch today. When today's over, Lehigh will either be three and a half ahead or one and a half ahead. Canada, as usual, usual running away with the Fire Division. They're 94 and 43. 12 and a half games ahead of Lancaster. And in the water division, it is now a two-way race. was a three-way race up until a couple of weeks ago, but you never know what can happen. Mid-Michigan, with their pitching staff, could certainly go on a winning streak. Tampa Bay leads Hadley Lake by a game and a half. So without any further ado, and Buckshot is driving, so he's going to be listening. I'm glad to have you back on, Buckshot. Hope you're doing well. Let's go and check today's schedule. The year, well, September 1st, I am going to sim all the games prior to, I'm going to sim all the games, and then the last game will be the Chico's Lehigh game, and we'll play that. Manchester at Berlin. MV's not here yet, but MV is on Discord, so maybe he'll Catch this result. Manchester defeats Berlin 11 to 8. Lanier, the winner, wins his 20th game. Key, the loser. Gwynn hits home run number 12 for Manchester. Manchester now three games above 500. They've made a little run, but they were too far back to go after Liverpool. Edmonton, Edmonton at Chicago. Chicago defeats Edmonton 11 to 6. Chicago needs to lose to Edmonton to fall behind them for the race for the number 1 draft pick and beating them 11 to 6 didn't help them. Hands the winner, Delaro the loser. We go on to Hadley Lake at Tampa Bay, a game with playoff implications. Hadley Lake a game and a half behind. Let's see what happens. Tampa Bay shuts out Hadley Lake. Their number one starter, Lincecum, wins game 16. Waddell, who's already won his 16th game, loses his 11th. Lancaster, second place over Canada. Lancaster needs a 14-game win streak, and Canada needs a 14-game losing streak for this to be a race. Lancaster defeats Canada 9-5. Hall the winner, Marshall the loser. Reggie Smith home run number 23 for Lancaster. St. Pete at Amazing. 6-1, a St. Pete victory. Guthrie over Christensen. DGens at Cleveland. Mike's around. I don't know if he's checked in, but hopefully he's listening. Checking in is Sean, world's worst gamer. DGens loses to Cleveland, 4-2. to two. White the winner, Lester the loser, now 10-11. and 11. Bichette goes 2-4. for four. Hagerstown with my friend Dwayne Martz at Long Island. And they crush Long Island, 12-1. to one. Perrette the winner, he's now 15-15. and 15. Marquard the loser. On to Teville where they host San Francisco. San Francisco defeats Teville. 3-1. to one. Kovaleski is 19th victory. Mays is 19th loss. Liverpool at Dallas. Big Clues team. Will 
Liverpool go 11 ahead. They do, defeating Dallas 4-3. Cooper winning his 20th game. Young losing his 18th. Foster home run number 36. Carpathian at mid-Michigan. Carpathian run by my friend Beatles Eternally. They lose to mid-Michigan. Verlander the winner. McGinnity the loser. Tomei home run number 23. Mid-Michigan wins 6-2. to two. And before we get to our featured game, Chico's at Lehigh. It's Florence at my team, Vegas. And Florence shuts out Vegas at home. Wilson the winner. One of my favorite all-time pitchers, Earl Wilson of the early 60s Boston Red Sox against Claude Austin. And now, hitting the right button play, we go to Chico's at Lehigh. Tom Seaver pitching for Chico's. Hank Bowery pitching for the Lizards. Welcome to Wrigley Field for today's game between Chico's and Lehigh. Tom Seaver gets the start for Chico's. He's made 24 starts on the year, is 12 and 10 with an ERA of 3.89. His fifth start against Lehigh, he's 3 and 1 with a 3.0 ERA against Lehigh. He'll be opposed by Hank Bowery. He's made 29 starts on the year, is 10 and 15 with an ERA of 3.77. It's his third start against Chico's. He's 2-0 with a .50 minuscule ERA against Chico's. Chico's apparently cannot hit this guy, but it's a new day. It's also 72 degrees with the wind speed 10 miles per hour left to right. That will favor the left-handed hitters here in Wrigley Field. Let's go down to the field. Play ball! The lineup for Chico's has Frank Chance at first base, batting first, Haller catching, batting second, Bartlett at short, batting third, George Brett at third, batting fourth, Guerrero in right, batting fifth, Neal with a great name, Greasy, DH at batting sixth, Ichiro Suzuki batting seventh in center field. That's the first time I've seen him not batting ninth in a while. Ryan Braun drops to eighth in the lineup in left field, and Sternweiss taking up the rear at second base, batting ninth. Jamie checks in, and Sean says hello to him. We have Sherry McGee in left, Willie Mays, whose picture I will fix in a second, in center, Sam Rice in right, the usual suspects in the infield, left to right, Caminiti, Larkin, Biggio, and Freehand at first base. Catching, Russell Martin. Pitching Hank Bowery. Frank Chance steps into the batter's box with a 322 average, and we're underway this afternoon. Base hit into right field. That's going to get by Rice all the way to the wall. Frank Chance heading for third. Here's the throw. It's going to be close. Chance is safe as he slides in with a leadoff triple, his fourth of the season, and we're underway here at Wrigley Field. Now, we put Willie Mays' picture in as we delay the second batter, as you guys know. I love having pictures in my game. And there he is. Willie's now in center field, Tom Heller. Batting 148 in limited action this season. Steps in from the left side. Hank Bowery looks over a chance. Bounding ball to Larkin. It's short. The play's going to be to first base. Chance is going to score as Lehigh sacrifices the run for an out. one nothing Chico's. As Jason Bartlett, a 284 hitter, steps in. 
Bowery walks him. Bartlett on his way to first as George Brett recently acquired on the uh, at the trade deadline, batting 255 in the season, steps in from the left side, throw to first, Bartlett back. Bowery gets his sign. Another ground ball to Larkin. Larkin's going to elect to go to first to throw out George Brett. Bartlett will end up on second base. And now with two down, Vladimir Guerrero, 256, steps in. Runner in scoring position, Bowery throws. There's a base hit in the right field. Rice charges it, picks it up. Bartlett's coming home. Not is going to be no throw, and it's a 2-0 Chico's lead. Chico's trying to get a quick start here on Lehigh. They know Lehigh is a dangerous team. And my favorite first name in the league stepping up, Greasy Neal, 238 on the season, runner on first, Bowery's pitch. Flies a line drive foul into the stands in right field. We're going to do this again. Fly ball deep to right field. Rice going to the corner, puts it away before he hits the track. We go to the bottom of the first inning. It's Chico's two, Lizards coming to bat. It's Tom Seaver on the mound for Chico's as we go over Lehigh's batting average. Biggio batting first at second. Walker, the DH, batting second. Freehand at first, batting third. Mays batting fourth and center. Caminiti at third, batting fifth. McGee and left, batting sixth. Rice in right field, seventh. Martin catching, batting eighth. And batting ninth and playing shortstop is Larkin. In the outfield, Ryan Braun in left. Ichiro Suzuki in center. Vladimir Guerrero in right. Left to right in the infield. Brett Bartlett, Sternweiss, and Chance. Catching is Haller, and pitching is Tom Seaver. Hall of Famer Biggio steps in to the, from the right side, and we're underway in the bottom of the first, and there's a line drive out directly at George Brett. One up, one down for Dixie Walker hitting 254. Seaver delivers. Fly ball to right center field. It's going to be back there. It's going to be off the wall. Walker's going to cruise into second base with his 20th double of the season. And Lehigh has a runner in scoring position for Bill Freehand, who's batting 270 in only 70 at bats this season. The pitch by Seaver. Base hit in the left field. Dixie Walker is going to hold at third base. Going to be runners on first and third. One down for Willie Mays, 276 on the season. Here's Seaver's pitch to Mays. Fly ball. Left field. It's going to be routine. Braun's going to catch it. Walker's going to score easily as the throw comes in to the cutoff man. Bartlett, 2-1 now at the two outs in the bottom of the first. For Ken Caminiti, 240 hitter. Runner on first, the pitch. He strikes him out. Seaver gets his first strikeout. And we head to the top of the second. 2-1 Chico's. David Lando comes by. I know David's at work, so I appreciate him risking his career to listen to one of my games. Mike Silver's also here. We've got a crowd for this special edition of my replay channel. It is Field of Dreams, and I just got up this morning saying it's time to kickstart the month of September. So 30 minutes after Big Clue posted his official file, we've got a game. Here in the second inning, bottom third of Chico's order, Suzuki, Braun, and Sternweiss, Ichiro Suzuki batting 271. Bowery gets the sign, delivers. Ground ball back to the mound, Bowery to freehand. One down. 
Ryan Braun hitting 239 steps in, 12 home runs, 43 RBIs. Bowery delivers. There's a fly ball deep in the left field, but McGee is going to catch it going just in a foul territory, and there's two up, two down for Snuffy Sternweiss, a 260 hitter with 16 home runs. Pretty good stats for a number nine hitter. Bowery throws. Fly ball, center field. Mays with a basket catch. The inning is over. We go to the bottom of the second. 2-1 Chico's. Seaver now to face McGee, Rice, and Martin. McGee hitting 246. Seaver delivers. And that's strikeout number two. Sam Rice, 265, steps in from the left side. Wind is blowing from left to right. Anything up in the air has a chance to go out today. Ground ball, Seaver backhands it to chance, and they get Rice by a step at first base. Two down for Russell Martin, 203. Hitter, here's the pitch. Ground ball up the middle, Bartlett to chance. One, two, three. We go to the top of the third. Two to one, Chico's. I'm picturing in my head Steve Tate at Augusta watching the Masters with this broadcast on his cell phone with an earpiece in, wondering if he's listening to the game. Maybe, maybe not. Here we go, top of the third, Chance Haller and Bartlett, the top of the order to face Hank Bowery. First time up. Chance lined a triple in the right field. He's going to ground out to freehand. He's going to take it unassisted here in the third. <clears throat> Haller up. Haller grounded to short his first time up. He's going to ground to first. Freehand's going to take the second one in a row for you scoring aficionados. That's three U two times in a row. Bowery to face Bartlett. Bartlett walked his first time up. Fly ball to the left. McGee looking at it. He's still looking at it, and it's off the wall. McGee throws it into third. Bartlett cruises into second for his 17th double of the season. And Chico's has a runner in scoring position. Two outs for their cleanup hitter, George Brett. Brett grounded to short his first time up. Bowery delivers, fly ball in the right field. Rice coming in, puts it away for the out. We go to the bottom of the third, still 2-1 Chico's. Seaver to face. Larkin, the number nine hitter. Then we go to the top of the order, Biggio and Walker. Larkin hitting 210 in our season two of Field of Dreams. Ground ball back to the mound over to Chance, one down. Craig Biggio steps in. He lined to third his first time up. Seaver delivers. Another ground ball to first base. There's a path being worn out to first base. Someone is injured. That is Craig Biggio. He is out for the game. There'll be a replacement for him in the next half inning. Dixie Walker doubled his first time up. Seaver delivers. Fly to center. Suzuki under it. Puts it away for the out. End of three. It's 2-1 Chico's. We need to find a second baseman, so we hit the letter C. Well, we'll do that first. And then hit the letter C. There's only one second baseman. We'll just put him in. C didn't work for some reason. Knob block at second. The only thing that ensures with knob block at second, he won't be pinch hitting for Bagwell, who doesn't seem to be in the game. Bagwell must be injured if Freeman's playing. Freehand's playing for his base. <coughs> Here we go. Top of the inning. Bowery. To face Guerrero, Neil, and Suzuki. Guerrero grounded a single his first time up. His first time up. Here we go. 
He's going to walk. Lowry puts the first runner on, second walk of the game. Greasy Neal. Neal fly deep down the right field line his first time up. Bowery's delivery. He's going to hit it to first base. Freehand to Larkin for one. Back to freehand. And we get the rare 3-6-3 three, three, double play. Two down. Top of the fourth with for Ichiro Suzuki. Suzuki grounded to the pitcher his first time up. He's going to bang that ball into right field for a base hit. Poor play by None other than Knobloch, number one. That means he hasn't played that much this year. I remember Knobloch in real life. Poor play. Sometimes followed him around specifically on his throws to first base. Bowery to face Braun. Braun flied out his first time up. Suzuki at first, 28 steals on the season. They're keeping him close. Throw over. He's back. Bowery with the sign and the pitch. Bound, ground ball up the middle. Great play by Larkin. Throws to first for the out to end the inning. That is a great play, and that's number 45 by Barry Larkin. That's 45 hits they've taken away from the opposition. Bottom of the inning. Freehand and Mays and Caminiti to face Tom Seaver. Freehand, lined a single over short his first time up. Fly ball deep in the center field. Suzuki backing up and right in front of the ivy color covered wall puts it away for the out. Freehand now to face Willie Mays. Mays fly to left center. He's going to hit it back to the mound. Seaver stabs it, throws to chance for the out. Two up, two down. Bottom of the fourth, Ken Caminiti, who struck out against Seaver his first time, hits it on the ground to Brett. Brett backhands it, throws to first. It's going to be close. He is out by a half a step. And we head to the top of the fifth. It's a pitcher's duel to one Chico's. Fifth inning as I sip my morning coffee here in Las Vegas. Sternweiss, number nine hitter, followed by the top of the chance and Haller to face Bowery. Sternweiss flied to deep right center field his first time up. And this time he strikes out, one down. Frank Chance, 323 hitter, steps into the batter's box. He's going to hit a blooping single in the left field. McGee takes it on a couple of hops, and Chance is going to go to second. That's a double. Everybody thought that play was over with a single, but while McGee was taking his time, Frank Chance in stride, crossed first base, went to second, and fooled everybody his 14th double of the season. Bowery now in a little bit of trouble, only one out runner in scoring position. 143 is Haller's batting average. His job, at least, is to get Chance the third. Here's the pitch. Well, he fooled me. He didn't get him the third, but he went to first. Third walk of the day for Bowery. Legend Sports Universe stops by. Don't forget to catch Legends on his YouTube channel. The Patriots lost last night. I'm sorry I gave that away. I said that before thinking, but... It's still worth watching as the Dallas Cowboys defeated the New England Patriots in a very exciting game. Forget that I gave you the details. I apologize, but watch it anyway. And if you can't watch that, go go on to his baseball season three of his baseball league, MLB The Show 22. It's even more fun than football. Okay, here we go. We're at the top of the fifth. Bartlett, Brett, and Guerrero to face Hank Bowery. Bartlett hitting 285 in season two. Bowery throws. Bartlett hits a ground ball into left field. Chance is going to hold. Bases now loaded. One out 
for Chico Bail Bonds. George Brett recently acquired at the trade deadline. Certainly a hit here would all make that trade worthwhile. The score is two to one. It's a close game. Brett hitting 254. Bowery checks the runners and delivers fly ball deep into right field. Rice, however, is going to put it away. Chance is going to score easily. No throw. 3-1 Chico's. Bowery now has two outs. A little can breathe a little easier. All the runners are at first and second for Glad Vladimir Guerrero, 258. Vladdy's hit 23 home runs this season, so he's certainly capable. The pitch fly ball deep into right center field. That ball is out of here as Rice just waves at it as it heads into the bleachers. A three-run home run for Guerrero. As I said, he was capable of that. That ball went 387 feet, home run number 24, and Chico's has a 6-1 to one lead, and it's only the fifth inning, and it looks like they've got this game in hand. Will Bowery face Greasy Neal? Let me click the computer button. He will. Ground ball to second. Knobloch with no throw problems throws him out. The inning is over. One batter too late as we head to the bottom of the fifth. Chico's leads Lehigh 6-1. to one. Well, it, Seaver pitched at Wrigley Field today at Legend Sports Universe. I didn't see the game. I was preparing for this one. I will watch it right after today's game. So that's two, two simulations in a row where Seaver is pitching at Wrigley Field. That fact in itself is interesting. McGee, Rice, and Martin to face Seaver here in the bottom of the fifth. McGee struck out his first time up. Seaver delivers. That ball's headed for Brett at third. Across the diamond to chance. That throw is either in the dirt or over his head. Let's find out. It's in the dirt. Chance can't dig it out. Error number 19 on George Brett on the throw. McGee finds himself at second base. And that's not how you want to start the inning after you score four runs in the top of the inning. Seaver now to face Rice, who grounded to the pitcher his first time up. Seaver delivers. He strikes him out. He bears down to get strikeout number three for Russell Martin. Martin grounded to short. Seaver delivers. And he gets strikeout number four. Seaver, looking at George Brett, decides, well, you guys can't be trusted. I'm just going to strike everybody out. Can he strike out the number nine hitter, Barry Larkin? His first time up, he grounded back to the pitcher. He cannot strike him out, but he can get him to hit a ground ball to Frank Chance, who takes it unassisted to the bag. We head to the top of the sixth. Six run, Chico's. Six one, Chico. Here we go. Bowery's still on the mound. Only 75 pitches. I'm not sure how long he'll be in there. I do not did not look at the manager file, so I have no idea when he's scheduled to leave. But here in the sixth, he'll face Suzuki, Braun, and Sternweiss, the bottom third of Chico's order. Suzuki hitting 272 goes down swinging. One down, the 238 hitter Ryan Braun steps in from the right side. Ball hit the center field. Mays under it. Puts it away for the out. Two quick outs here in the top of the six for Stuffy Sternweiss, 259 on the season. Goes down swinging. Bowery makes easy meat of the Chico's bottom third of the order. We go to the bottom of the sixth. And Lehigh to send up. Top of their order, Knobloch, Walker, and Freehand to face Tom Seaver. 
Tom Seaver in two different generations here on Friday, April 12th, pitching today at Wrigley Field for the Legend Sports Universe and here in Field of Dreams. The pitch to Knobloch strikes him out, number five for Seaver, as he continues to want to mow these guys down. Dixie Walker, 256 hitter. He goes down, number six, ever since Brett's error, Seaver's struck out four out of five batters. Let's see what he does with freehand. Freehand, it's a grounder to Brett. They're going to try him again. Cross the diamond, chance, gets a perfect throw. We head to the top of the seventh, 6-1 Chico's. Top of the seventh sees Bowery face the top of Chico's order, Chance, Haller, and Bartlett. Chance today, triple grounded out and doubled to left center. And Shane Reynolds comes in to pitch. That was it for Hank Bowery. Shane Reynolds for Lehigh's pitched in 21 games, 68 innings, allowed 80 hits, which is not that great. 341 ERA, which is not bad. Two wins, no losses, also not bad. League hitting 295 against him, so I expect to see some hits here. Chance hits a base hit in the right field, right on cue. Chance going to second. He is safe. That's a double. Second time in a row, Chance has legged out a double on a hit to the outfield. I thought he was going to go for his uh cycle and stay on first base but that's not the case chance at second nobody out haller up haller today grounded a short grounded a first and walked his last time he's gonna hit it to knobloch throws to free end for the out chance goes to third one out run can score from third base any number of ways with only one out as bartlett steps in Bartlett's walked, doubled, and grounded a single his last time. This time, the ball's hit to freehand. He is out, even though the ball stayed on the chalkboard. There's two outs. Run will score. Chico's, I wouldn't call the seventh run an insurance run. I'd say that they just increased their lead from 6-7-1 to seven to one as George Brett steps in. Brett grounded a short, flied to shallow right center field, and then flied to deep right field his last time. Reynolds pitch. That ball's hit to Knobloch. Behind the mound throws him out. We head to the bottom of the seventh. Chico's has a 7-1 lead over Lehigh. Tom Seaver's thrown 70 pitches after six innings. He has, as I bring this up, six innings, allowed only two hits. One run, it is earned, struck out six. He's walked nobody. And barring some monumental collapse when this day is over, Chico's will only be one and a half games behind the Lehigh Lizards. Willie Mays comes to the plate. 275 hitter. Seaver pitches. Number seven. That's the seventh strikeout for Seaver as Ken Caminiti carrying a 239 average steps into the left hand side of the box. He's going to hit it to Brett at third, throw to first. He is out. I don't keep track of this, but it seems to me the last eight plays have been. Five strikeouts and three ground balls to third base. Sherry McGee, 243 hitter. Here's the delivery. And that's nine hitters. I'd go back and check it out. And I might do that just for the sake of interest. That was the eighth strikeout. 
if I go up to this, can I see the log on here? No, I can't see the log on there. Let's do. Do, 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 do reports pay by play i'm just curious if i'm remembering that properly i want to go to the bottom of the sixth and the bottom of the seventh right bottom of the sixth suzuki struck out no that's that's the top lehigh in the sixth knobluck struck out walker struck out free and grounded a third bottom of the seventh Mays struck out. Caminiti grounded to third. McGee struck out. How did we do in the fifth? Bottom of the fifth. Well, there's a grounded to first. So the last two innings have been strikeouts and grounding out to first base. Vladimir Guerrero homered his last time up, followed by Neil and Suzuki to face Reynolds. Guerrero has four RBIs today. Reynolds delivers. And there's a base hit in the left center field. Good day for Vladdy. He's going to end up at second. It's going to be his 24th double. And he's having one hell of a game. He's on second base. Nobody out. Just as predicted, 80 hits in 60 innings. Reynolds is going to give up some hits. Greasy Neal, 235 hitter. Has the ability to knock in a run here. There's a fly ball to shallow center field. Mays puts it away. Guerrero goes back to the bag. Ichiro Suzuki, hitting 271, now has the opportunity. Reynolds pitch. Strikeout number one. And Ryan Braun hitting 238, the last opportunity to score Guerrero, who went got into scoring position. The first batter of the inning. Braun strikes out. Number two, we go to the bottom of the eighth. Still 7-1 Chico's. Will Tool comes by. Is this Field of Dreams? It sure is. And Steeler Fan, 1933, thank you for coming in, Steeler Fan. It's always nice to see a member of the community not participating in Field of Dreams joining our broadcast. And once again, if you're listening and you're not a member of Field of Dreams, you got to contact Steve Tate or Big Clue because th this is the – most fun league I've ever participated in it. It's so much fun. I even, my own individual projects are in second place compared to how much fun this league is. Bottom of the inning, Rice, Martin, and Larkin, the bottom third of Lehigh's order to face Seaver, and they're running out of time. They are six runs down. They have two innings to make it up. Rice hitting 259. He's going to hit it to chance at first. Going to flip the Seaver covering. One up, one down. Bottom of the eighth. Russell Martin. 202 this season to face Seaver. Fly ball deep in the right field. It's in the corner, but Guerrero's going to put it away as he heads in to the corner. Just into foul. He actually, he stays in fair territory. Just steps onto the. Uh, warning track to put that one away. I knew I'd get that out eventually as Barry Larkin hitting 209 facing Seaver is thrown an economical 90 pitches through seven and two thirds innings. That ball is hit right back to the mound, flips to chance. Inning is over. We go to the top of the ninth, 7 1 Chico's. Reynolds still on the mound facing. Sternweiss, the number nine hitter for Chico Sternweiss, hitting 259. Going to hit a ground ball to Larkin. He's going to have to hurry. Reynolds is lucky because Larkin gets him by a half a step. Frank Chance steps in with three hits today. He's three for four. The pitch by Reynolds. He walks him. Chance goes down to first, his Reynolds' first walk of the day. Haller stepping in, hitting 141. He's going to hit that ball right back to the mound, over to freehand. They get Haller. Chance goes to second. Two outs, runner in scoring position for Jason Martin, one of the better hitters 
on Chico's with a 286 average. He's going to put that ball in the left field. Chance is going to round third. McGee picks it up. Here comes the throw. Here comes the slide. He is safe. Runner's going to go to second. The ball is dropped. Is that going to be an error? That is. There's an error on the left field to McGee, error number five, and that is Jason Bartlett's third hit of the day. As we go to an eight to one score, Chico's gets a little further ahead. George Bett, 254, now is up with a runner on third and two outs, as that error didn't help. You heard that. It was a foul tip. We'll do it again. Ground ball to freehand. He's going to drop it. There's going to be his third error. Run will score. Nine to one. And this game is officially out of hand. Vladimir Guerrero's had a good day. Three hits today, including that three-run home run that put this game at six to one. He goes down swinging. We head to the bottom of the ninth. It's 9-1 Chico's. Monumental task faces Lehigh here in the bottom of the ninth. They're going to start up with the top of the order, Knobloch, followed by Walker and Freehand Seaver on the mound. Delivers to Knobloch. That ball is going to be hit past the mound. And Knobloch beats it out for an infield hit as Bartlett could not get that throw there fast enough. Well, that's how you start when you want to make a comeback. you got to get on base. Dixie Walker coming to bat. Let's see what Dixie's done today. He's doubled, flied out, and struck out. The pitch by Seaver. That ball's going to be hitting the right field. That's going to get by Vladimir Guerrero. That is going to be a poor play on someone, and it is going to be a double. His 21st double of the season, Dixie Walker. Double number two on the day. Game is still well in hand, however. If you're going to try to score eight runs in the bottom of the ninth inning, getting the first two runners on is the beginning of the way to do it. Bill Freehand, who today has singled, flied out, and grounded to third along with everybody else. The pitch, he strikes out. Number nine for Seaver, one down. Things look a little rosier as Willie Mays. Willie Mays today is flied to the left, grounded to the pitcher, and struck out not one of his better days. Seaver's pitch. Fly to center field. Suzuki is going to catch that ball against the wall. That will score the second run for Lehigh. However, more importantly for Chico's, it is the second out of the inning. Ken Caminetti. Struck out, grounded a third twice, along with everybody else in the game. Here's the pitch. Game is over. Caminiti goes down swinging. Chico's defeats Lehigh 9-2. to two. Chico's 9-10-1, and one, left five on base. The Lehigh Lizards are 2-4-2, two, and two, left three on base. Let's go to the box score. For Chico's today, we have... Offensive stars all over the place. Frank Chance, three for four, four runs scored. Bartlett, three for four, three runs scored, a couple of RBIs. And Vladimir Guerrero, three for four, <clears throat> excuse me, and four RBIs. For Lehigh, the only bright spot would be Dixie Walker with his two doubles. Winning pitcher Tom Seaver is now 13 and 10, nine hits, four runs. Four hits, two runs, both of them earned, struck out 10, didn't walk a soul. Bowery, the loser now, 10 and 16, six innings, seven hits, six runs, three strikeouts, three walks. The MVP of the game, who do you think? I think it's going to be Guerrero. And it's Tom Seaver for, I might give it to Guerrero, but Tom Seaver did pitch a hell of a game. Biggio's out for today only, so Steve Tate has nothing to worry about. After today's games, let me just double-check, make sure I played them all. That goes over to the second. We'll go back to the first. All the games are played. Let's just glance to the second. I'm playing nothing. See if there's anything worth playing there. <clears throat> 
well, we can battle for the wild battle for the first uh, draft pick. We could do Edmonton, Chicago later today, but let's see. Edmonton visits Vegas, and they're well received. Anything that day? Where do we have Hadley Lake? Hadley Lake at Carpathian. Anyway, I'll let someone else check that out. Whoever's going to broadcast next can pick it up on September 2nd. Briefly before I sign off and wish everybody a happy Friday, Liverpool 11 games ahead of Berlin, 85-51. and 51. Lehigh now only a game and a half ahead of Chico's. They're 76 and 60. Canada 94 and 54, 50 games above 500. Great record, Sean. 11 and a half ahead of Lancaster. And Tampa Bay two and a half ahead of Hadley Lake, 83 and 53. Well, there you are from my Las Vegas studios. I'd like to thank everybody for this, for checking into this special broadcast of the first day of September in the playoff race here at Field of Dreams and look forward to whoever's going to broadcast next. This is going to be a fun weekend here at Field of Dreams, so if you get a chance, keep checking YouTube to see who's going to be broadcasting and what games are going to be played. And anyway, I hope everyone has a wonderful Friday, a great weekend. I would like to thank Sean World's Worst Gamer, SGJ Jamie, for coming by. Big Clue, of course, Steeler fan, Will Tool, was here, MV checked in, David Landau, my pal, and once again, Buckshot was here listening to the game while he was driving. Big Clue is the first one into the ballpark. Thank you all for joining me. We will see you on Discord. Have a nice day.